Hey YMC family, my name is Jennifer and I am here with a lower body band workout for today's workout of the day. Here's the deal, we've got a curtsy lunge with a squat in the center, exercise number one. We've got a lateral lunge, we've got a knee drive, we've got lateral walks, we've got fire hydrants, and we've got banded hip bridge clamshells. So, we are going to go through all six of those exercises. You've got 20 reps of each. Then you're going to go through again, 18 reps of each. Again, 16 reps. Dropping two reps until you get down to your last set, which is going to be 10 reps of each exercise. Now that's the advanced set. If you want something a little bit more mild, you're going to drop five reps. So you're going to start out with 20 of each exercise, then you're going to go to 15, then you're going to end with 10. So your choice, whatever you're up for today. But let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you're going to need a mat, you're going to need a band. And today I'm using a looping band, different than the bands with the handles on each end. And I'm going to start out with this band up above my knees on my thighs. So our first exercise is that curtsy lunge to a center squat, followed by a curtsy lunge on the other side. So you've got 10 on each side. So here we go. You've got a right side curtsy, squat, left side curtsy, squat, right, center, left, center. So you've got 20 of those. Then you're going to move right in to a banded lateral lunge. So we're keeping that band up above our knees, opening those legs up as wide as we can, and we're sitting back into left and right lunges. So sitting back right and left and right and left. Now that band's going to travel as you go, so you're going to need to figure out how to keep it in place, but it's a great exercise for those outer thighs. Our next exercise is a knee drive. So we've got a right knee drive and we've got a left knee drive. So keeping that band up above our knees, we've done these lots without the band. Now we're adding this extra bit of resistance. So we're bringing that leg back and we're driving that knee up to our chest. Quick motion, really getting those glutes. Then you're switching sides and we've got 20 on that opposite leg, all right? Now we're going to that lateral walk. So I want you to spread out, give yourself some room because you got 10 in one direction, 10 in the other direction. So I want you sitting down low, weight is back in those heels, press those booties back, and I want you big steps. So 10 in each direction, and then you're back to the center. All right, really working to keep that body low, okay? Now we've got our banded hydrants. So we're going to come down to our mats and you're going to come down to a tabletop position. So shoulders are stacked over my wrists, hips are right under my, I'm sorry, knees are right under my hip joint. That band is still high on my legs and we're opening it up wide right here. So one, two, three, Slow and controlled, four, five, all the way up to 20. Your last exercise in this series is a banded hip bridge with a clamshell. So we're coming around to our backs. We're gonna lay down, feet are planted on the floor. That band is still right up above our knees. We're gonna raise those hips up so that they're off the ground. And we're opening those knees and back to the center, just like a clamshell. So open, hold it for just a second, back to the center. Hold, center, hold, center. Great job, guys. At this point, you're back to the top for your 18 reps of each exercise. Once you get all the way down to 10, you're done for the day. Remember, anytime we're using bands, we want to be sure and give them a thorough check just to be sure there aren't any weak spots that could snap while we're working out. Remember, these bands come in different resistance levels. So if the one that you've got is too easy, 
it's time to hit the next color level and progress up. We always want to be challenging our bodies. So great job, guys. I will be back with an upper body uh, workout with the bands very soon, as well as a stability ball workout. So be looking out for those. Have a good one, guys.